Introducing the Bite Me Cannabis Club. The Bite Me Cannabis Club aims to be an inclusive online space for cannabis lovers. Whether you're simply curious about how cannabis can improve your life or you're fully seasoned, there's always more to learn. When you join the Bite Me Cannabis Club, you'll have access to like-minded people interested in cannabis, monthly workshops, live Q&As, recipes and recipe swaps, digital cookbooks, a fully functional chat feature, and a whole lot more. For a limited time, it's only $5 a month with a 30-day free trial so you can try it out and see if it's right for you. This isn't just another Facebook group or confusing Discord channel. I carefully chose a platform that offers a clear, uncluttered, and seamless community experience. See for yourself. Join today. Say hello. I can't wait to connect with you there. Join the Bite Me Cannabis Club today. Link in your podcast app. In this episode, we're talking about the cinnamon vanilla latte, a relaxing cup of comfort for these stressful times. Welcome to Bite Me, the show about edibles, where I help you take control of your high life. I'm your gracious host, Marge, and I am forever thankful that you're listening to this episode right here and right now. Let's get into it, shall we? The Tea God series continues. I think I just like saying Tea God. That's the Green Organic Dutchman, a Canadian LP that is making some very nice weed, and they make these dissolvable powders, THC and CBD ones, and balanced ones, actually, that we sell in our store, and they sell across Canada, I believe, and I think it's sold in the States under a different name. But they put out these recipe books that I grabbed from the store that have some pretty nice recipes in them. And I've been infusing those my own way. I have tried the uh, ripple powders and they are quite nice, flavorless, odorless, easy to add to anything. I just find that for anybody who requires more than the 10 milligrams, it's a pricey option to infuse your foods. If 10 milligrams works for you and that's a level that you like, that's a fantastic way to infuse whatever it is that you're wanting to enjoy. So it's certainly worth checking out wherever you are, depending on what your potency level is or your your tolerance. Again, as I've mentioned before, in Canada, the uh, uh, max is 10 milligrams of THC per package. So that's on the lower end of the spectrum as far as dosing goes. But for some people, that works just fine. I know plenty of people where 10 milligrams would get them really high and there's nothing wrong with that, of course. And if that if that's the case, these tea god powders are fantastic. It would be really worth having in your pantry for those times you want to infuse something really quick and you don't want to go through all the process of making an, an infusion or decarbing or doing all the steps to get to your infused, infused treat. So they are certainly worth looking at if your tolerance is in that neighborhood. Are you not sure what your tolerance is? Well, I've I got a solution for you. Have you happened to check out the dosing calculator on my website? You haven't? <laughs> well, you should go over there right now. Check it out. I think there's a link in the show notes. I shouldn't say I think. I write the show notes and there will be a link in the show notes. And this is a free resource that you can use to figure out how strong your edibles are going to be which is very handy. You should know this. And if you're still working out how much THC you can tolerate in your edibles, it's a great way to help you figure out what that number is going to be so you don't overdose. Because as we all know, overdoses, if you have done it, is hell. It is not fun at all. And if you've never done if you've never done that to yourself, So make use of the dosing calculator. It's free to use. And then that way as well, if you are gifting any edibles during the holiday season, seeing as we're approaching that right now, then you can confidently give your edibles to somebody and let them know what the potency of that edible is. And they can make an informed decision from there as to how much of it they should eat. It's a win-win. So if you go over to the website, bitemepodcast.com and click on the resources tab, I think it's the first thing in the list. You'll see calculate your dosing or something to that effect. If you're a real math nerd, which I am not, but the math behind the calculator is still at the bottom. So if you like to figure out that shit on your own, you're more than welcome to do that. The math, like I said, is there. But if you just want to plug the numbers in and get a a magic number, Uh, magically at the end, the dosing calculator is for you. So please use it. It took some trial and error to get this thing made, some blood, sweat, and tears. So I hate to see it go unused. In any case, 
uh, what else is going on? I think when this episode is released, because I am recording it ahead of time, this may be coming out on or around the American Thanksgiving. So if you are in the US of A, happy Thanksgiving. And if you are enjoying time with friends and family, I hope you stay safe. And I hope you're enjoying some great edibles as well. And I think this recipe is really going to help you out because like it says, a relaxing comfort cup of comfort. Sometimes the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, just family times, as much as they can be filled with a lot of anticipation can also create some anxiety as we prepare for dealing with uh, people. Well, we all know how difficult family can be sometimes and it's not always the most joyous time. So this uh, cinnamon vanilla latte, I hope will help you relax while you're enjoying your holidays. And if you're in Canada, as I know many of you are, or elsewhere in the world, uh, we had our Thanksgiving last month in October. This comes to a surprise to many people in the United States that we our Thanksgiving was earlier. So this can also be nice, though, because it's been one hell of a year and people are more stressed out than ever. And sometimes a nice warm cup of something in the evening is just what you need. And I'm going to highly recommend this. So just a quick fun story about myself the other night. My husband was going out to a friend's house and I had elected to stay in because I myself was a little, I think, overly stressed from the day and needed to just chill and relax. And because I work in a dispensary, I talk to people all day long. And that is one of the aspects I actually really like about my jobs. I love dealing with people and I love helping them find the right product for them. I love it when people... Uh, the can of curious, as we like to say, come in, we get all kinds of folks who have never tried cannabis before, but now that it's legal are really interested. I love talking to those folks. They have lots of great questions. It's just a really fun place to work. I'm not going to lie. Selling weed is a fun job. But sometimes by the end of the day, you know, you've been talking your face off all day long. And I wasn't really feeling much in the mood of socializing. I was kind of in a weird mood. So I decided to stay home. And of course, I was enjoying some edibles. And I think I had a little to smoke as well. And I was just sort of settling in to relax. I had a favorite show I was going to put on. And all of a sudden, I heard this like classical music really loud. And I was kind of chuckling to myself because my husband, Chris, has been listening to classical music a little bit more of late. He's been doing a lot of writing. And like him, from time to time, I do enjoy classical music as well, because it's just a nice melodious sound playing that isn't distracting. So if you're getting some other work done, having that in the background is not going to distract you from your task at hand. So, you know, there are times where I really like that kind of music too. But this stuff sounded like it was blaring and he had, I realized he had pulled back into the driveway and it sounded like he had left the car door open to run in to grab something that he had forgotten. Because I looked out the out the window and lo and behold, there was the van door hanging open and he must have run in to get something. So uh, I was chuckling to myself because it's not too often you hear somebody like playing classical music really loud from the car door, from the car window. And I ran down to say, hey, what did you forget? And I met, made some mention about him blaring the classical music. And he kind of just glossed over what I said. And I kind of shrugged and walked away and thought, oh, whatever. And then I got back upstairs to a room and I realized that he wasn't blaring classical music at all. It was just some classical music playing from his Alexa that's in the room. And I was just stoned. <laughs> I felt a little silly about that. But... Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I was tired and stoned. So there you go. But classical music for the win on that day. On another note, have you signed up for the subscriber challenge yet? Or not challenge? I'm not challenging you to do anything except read my emails from time to time. So if you want to do that, please do. It is the Bite Me Edibles Enthusiast newsletter that you'd be signing up for that I send out about once a month, usually at the start of a month, or so I, I try most of the time. I promise I won't spam you because I just don't have the time to write that many emails and send them. So if you do sign up, you just go to bitemepodcast.com. You scroll to the bottom, I believe. You can put in your name and email address and a mailing address too, if you'd like, because I do send things in the snail mail from time to time. And you'll be entered to win a Gold Leaf cooking journal. And if you don't know what those are, go check out Gold Leaf. They make beautiful cannabis-themed journals, prints, and cards. And they are based in the United States. Wonderful people. They do beautiful beautiful work. And if you don't happen to win, well, not everybody can win. I'm sorry, but you can also use the code bite me 
at the checkout for a discount on your order. Can't remember off the top of my head what that discount is, but it is a little something. So if you do that, then then that's a little little bonus there. And I, there may be people on your list that may be interested in, in some of the things that they offer. And this holidays are coming up. We're all thinking about giving thoughtful gifts to those people, special people in our lives. So keep that in mind. But let's get into a new way to relax during these stressful times. Now, I had thought long and hard because I knew that the uh, U.S. Thanksgiving weekend was coming up about doing something a little more involved. But you know what? Sometimes Thanksgiving can be stressful enough if you're cooking for some people. And I know Thanksgiving is going to look a lot different for many people this year. So even the way that we're cooking and how many people we're hosting, that's all going to be different. And it's just generally speaking a stressful year. So sometimes you just want something quick that you can whip up that's nice and comforting. And this cinnamon vanilla latte actually does that job. Now, I also realized that looking this recipe book that I picked up, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, is brought to you by Tea God, the Green Organic Dutchman, that this also used a balanced ripple powder in their case, the THC to CBC it was a one to one ratio. If you have something like that on hand, and that's going to work for you that by all means, go ahead and use it. I didn't have that. I just infused mine with THC. So that's what you can do. And I did this one a couple of different ways, actually. I made it twice because the first time I made it, I wasn't sure I was too crazy about it. The recipe as it's written doesn't have any sweetener in it to speak of. And I added some in because I did feel like it needed a little bit, but it calls for your two cups of almond milk. And for this one, I actually did go out and buy the almond milk for this one. You probably could use milk as well if you wanted. I don't know what that's going to be like. It'll probably be quite nice as well if you can froth it up. So if you're going to do the milk, probably something a little heavier might be nice too, like a, a a cream as well. If you really want it rich, I tend to like like rich creams myself. So, But I tried this one with the almond milk and the almond milk does really add that nice nutty flavor to it. So I would probably recommend you go that route. And then you're going to need coconut butter or oil, coconut oil. I don't know why they have both. It's pretty well the same thing. An optional bit of maca powder minced ginger, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. So like I said, the first time I made this, I used infused coconut oil the first time. And that was pretty nice. But again, I felt like it needed a little bit extra. So the second time I made it, I did, I used regular uh, coconut oil uh, and it just melts when you heat up the, the almond milk anyway. So if you have like a MCT oil, that would probably work too. But I just, um, I didn't, I used regular the second time and used that infused maple syrup that I made recently and added that in. And I think I added in about a tablespoon. I can't remember. I might just have to make it again before I write these show notes so that I can be sure. The recipe does make two servings and I was making half a serving because Chris has been not really doing the edibles lately. So I think he said I've been talking a bit about him too much on the show, but you know, why wouldn't I? He's a big part of my life. So there you go, Chris. I'm not going to stop talking about you. I'm sorry. But so I was making it for just one person. And I added the maple syrup. And I just felt that that touch of maple syrup was really nice. So depending on which route you want to go, if you have it on hand, you could also use both. Why not use a little? Because they don't call for large amounts. I mean, I said a tablespoon, but I wasn't using infused coconut oil. But you could also do a little bit of both if you so chose. Again, you're taking control of your high life. You can do whatever the fuck you want. And who's going to say anything? Nobody. So... You could do the infused coconut oil and the infused maple syrup if you would like to up the ante just a little bit. Now, it does also say the maca root or maca root. I'm not really sure how you say that. Uh, is optional. I happen to have that stuff on hand because I like to put maca root in my smoothies every morning. And I love the smell of this stuff. I have a yellow maca root and it has a really nice nutty uh, flavor and smell that I just love. Every time I open the bag of this stuff, I just take a nice whiff and it's really nice. And what it says is a uh, maca root is an ancient superfood of the Incas. It's raw. It's a raw potent source of iron. 
And what else is it good for? I forget. It's good for a bunch of stuff. Oh, it's raw and potent, sustainably grown, ideal for smoothies and yogurt. Well, that doesn't really tell me what the hell it's good for. I think I do remember that one of the things it's good for is libido. So there you go. Maybe we got a healthy libido. But I guess I should probably figure out why I'm using this stuff before I go out and buy more. But in any case, I have it. If you have it, great. If you if not, I wouldn't worry about running out to get it. it w- with the almond milk, you already are imparting a nice nutty flavor to this latte, so you don't really need to worry about it too much. But it is a nice addition. The ground ginger, it called for minced ginger, which, tell, which tells me that's f- going to be fresh. I used powdered ginger instead because I didn't really want to get into dicing fresh ginger. And that does reduce the prep time on this one, you know, quite a bit because, you know, just uh, that's just an extra step you can skip. The fresh ginger would obviously be a little more, uh, it would probably be a little stronger and part a bit of a stronger flavor to this one. But the ground ginger seemed to work quite nicely. The cinnamon I find is a nice addition as well. And I don't know if you knew knew that Ceylon cinnamon in particular, my understanding is it needs to be Ceylon. So if you don't have this, I'm sure some of the effects are the same with regular cinnamon, but I do tend to buy Ceylon cinnamon in big bags because I also add that to my smoothies every single morning. And oftentimes we'll have Ceylon cinnamon before like bigger meals because Ceylon cinnamon in particular reduces your blood sugar response to food. So if you're having a big meal or you're just wanting to sort of reduce that blood sugar response, Ceylon cinnamon is fantastic for that. There's other things that are really good for that too. Like what are some of the ones? Uh, Actually, I think apple cider vinegar and berberine are two other things that are good for reducing blood sugar. But cinnamon tends to be something that we have in our cupboards. So if you can do that, that's the route I would go. And of course, you can't have a cinnamon vanilla latte without the cinnamon. Uh, the pinch of, uh, just a small pinch of the Himalayan sea salt because I had the, like, I didn't use a Himalayan. I think I had like a, another kind of sea salt in my cupboard that was chunky just to give it the texture. And it really does stay in, it doesn't really dissolve that quickly. So that does add a nice touch of salt to it. So that's pretty much it for that one. You're basically warming up your, your almond milk in, on the stove or in the microwave And then you're putting it in the blender with all the rest of the ingredients and you're frothing it up and you could probably also mix it. The frothing is, is really nice. That does, it is really nice. Putting a sprinkle of the cinnamon on the top too would be a nice touch if you're serving it to somebody else as well, just to make it look nice and presentable. Um, you might even use like a hand frother. I know that we, you know, there's those little hand frothers that you can get as well just to do that. So if you don't have a blender, that's another thing you can do just to, to mix it all in and froth it up and make it very nice and palatable while you're drinking it. I always warm my stuff on the stove because as many of you may not know, I don't own a microwave. Yes, that is correct. I got rid of my microwave oh, quite some time ago. The reason being is our microwave, the way our kitchen was set up, required a whole piece of furniture for which on which it sat. And uh, we have been over the years just trying to become more minimal in the furniture that we have or things in the house, which is tough to do. Man, do things ever add up and pile up. It's pretty easy to do. But anyway, we got rid of the microwave and... I haven't really missed it at all. I know some, I know at first, I know sometimes some of my kids were like, what the hell? You guys don't have a microwave. How do you live? But I don't tend to eat frozen dinners and I find other ways to defrost stuff. And then the only other thing I was using it for a lot was melting butter on, on for my popcorn if I was making popcorn. And I don't eat that stuff very often. Do I really need a whole extra appliance? I'd rather be spending my money on appliances like a magical butter machine, for instance, or a Levo oil or or uh, an immersion circulator. I don't know. There's like a million other appliances that, that I use and enjoy that I would prefer to have taking up space in my kitchen and a microwave just wasn't one of them. So fun fact, le- there is life beyond the microwave, my friends, but it is c- convenient sometimes. So that is a quick way to, to warm up your almond milk if you want before you froth it or add it to your blender for this particular recipe. So You can infuse it. If you have some CBD to infuse it with, that would be really nice as well. And this will be a nice, a nice after dinner 
latte that you can enjoy or, you know, whatever you need it. It's a nice warm cup of something that is quite comforting and has nice flavor. But like I said, I've personally felt that it needed a hint of sweetness. So whether you add infused maple syrup or not is totally up to you. Of course, if you're using the infused um, coconut oil, you don't have to, but I just felt like it needed a touch of something and the infused maple syrup worked quite nicely. So add that in. It wasn't included. I'll write up the show notes so that it, it does get included so that you don't miss it when you're making it yourself. And I hope you give this one a try and I hope you do find that after a busy day uh, that you do find some relaxation in this cup of the cinnamon vanilla latte. So that's it, my friends. I hope you have a chance to check out the new website features, which is basically the dosing calculator. Sign up for the subscriber giveaway, which I'll be doing sometime around Christmas time. Uh, Please subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already. Share it, like it, review it, whatever the hell you want to do. All these things support me and my endeavors and putting this show out week after week. And it all really means a lot to me. So I hope you get some value out of this. And I always welcome pictures, messages, feedback, opinions, questions, whatever, what have you at bite me podcast at fastmail.com. And I, of course, will include a link to the voice message feature. If you want to speak your mind instead of write your mind, you can do that too. So happy Thanksgiving to those of you who are celebrating and to everyone out there, stay high. Are you tired of trying edibles that are inconsistent in strength and flavor? Attempting to figure out your tolerance? Do you want to take control of your edibles experience and find the optimum combination of factors that results in the best outcome? If so, this edibles journal is perfect for you. The Bite Me Edibles Journal provides a convenient and organized way for you to track and record your edibles experience, whether it's homemade edibles or store-bought. It includes 48 fillable pages. It's sized 8.5 by 11 for plenty of writing space, includes information on calculating the potency of homemade edibles, and it was created by an edibles expert. Whether you're a seasoned edibles enthusiast or just starting out on your cannabis journey, The Bite Me Edibles Journal is an essential tool for anyone interested in enjoying their edibles to the fullest. Take control of your high life with this convenient and helpful resource. Add it to your Amazon cart today. Tap the link in the show notes.